do you recommend to this program? Now that we have Medicaid expansion, what changes do you recommend to this program? So when we worked on the Medicaid expansion, where we got to where we were now, the concern was, based on the original budget, the concern was, what was proposed was that the state of Virginia could be able to go in any state agency and be able to pull money out and put it into the program, which would have made things very difficult. Department of Education, for example, could have had the money pulled out. With what we were able to do in a consensus way this past year, 2018, working with the governor, was be able to come forward with a way that we could pay for it. As an example, there's a tax on the hospitals that that money comes back in, that that goes in to help pay for, for Medicaid, among other things. So I think the first thing that has to be said is that we're going to have it again in this upcoming budget, the 2020 budget, to make certain that we can fund Medicaid going forward and that we can provide high quality health care to pass that 2020 budget with the Medicaid language in there, which I've said I will vote for as I voted for Medicaid expansion. As for changes, we have to continue to look at new opportunities for health care that we can make certain as we're looking at new ways to help pay for health care those opportunities that have a way to help people. So for an example, one of the bills working with Hampton University that I passed was for proton therapy treatment for those that suffer from cancer, say breast cancer for an example. That has been a fight that I've had for the last several years with the insurance companies to be able to get that out of the way. And as I'm sure some of you all saw most recently in the Wall Street Journal article, and I know you all are, as equal as I was, taken aback by what some of the hospitals are now doing. And so far as algorithms as to whether or not a person can pay and what's their socioeconomics. So to the changes that we have to look at, we need to make certain that we are not just finding people that need health care, but making certain they're getting the health care, that they're getting the opportunity to get the kind of health care that they need. Cancer is a devastating impact to all of our people throughout our community in the Commonwealth of Virginia. But in working with the previous governor's administration, this governor's administration, we've been able to help individual people throughout the state of Virginia that wanted and needed this kind of opportunity to help them with their cancer, but the insurance companies were blocking. Then also, working with Hampton University, we were able to get past the barrier that insurance companies were often doing where they would say, well, Let's go back and let's review this, this outcome and maybe we will, maybe we don't. We need to get those out of the way as well so that when we talk about helping people in need, that they're getting the access to the health care and that we are able to get some of these other things out of the way so that we can help people get a healthy lifestyle, we can make sure that they're having a great quality of life and then be able to get back into the workforce if they need or be able to get back on their education or just participating in what it is that they want to do. So I think is part and parcel of it when we're talking about the insurance, we're talking about Medicaid, making certain that it's not just that we're paying for it, but that the people are having access to the health care and that some of these things that we're hearing about are out of the way so that people can have immediate access to the health care that they need. Thank you. Mike Mullen, same question. Now that we have Medicaid expansion, what changes do you recommend to the